It's nice to see you on the red carpet again, Russell. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Not as nervous as last time, for sure. Well, I can see that. Yeah. What, what has changed? <laughs> uh, knowing like what's going to go on tonight and just being in the same venue before has helped a lot. Yeah. And also the fact that, you know, you're a big star tonight. Tell us, what's in, what, what are we expecting to see there with you tonight? Uh, well, I'm nominated, and I hope to win an award tonight for my uh, poetry. I hope you do too, fingers crossed. You. If you do win, and you now had to give an acceptance speech to the camera, maybe we could practice. Yes, maybe it's good luck, you know? Thank you. Uh, I really couldn't have done this anything in my life without the support of my family. They've been great and uh, I, uh, whenever I want to quit I always think of them and uh, I know that all they've done for me I can't, I have to pay that back. I can't let them down so uh, this award is for them. The last two years have been extremely tough for me and the only reason I'm alive now is because of my family and they've supported me so much and I just knew I couldn't let them down. Um, so I put my head down and I walked through hell with a smile on and I set my eyes on the future and this is the future right here and I want my family to know that this award is for them and I love you so much. So how does that feel mom getting knowing that award is for you? What do you, th you must be so proud. Oh amazingly proud, amazingly proud. Just want to jump up and down. When did you first notice that your son was so talented? Um, it's been developing probably in the last seven, eight years as life in general got a little bit easier for him. He was able to channel into some of the talents that he had.